Welcome to Journey to Esquire, the podcast. I'm Jocelyn Hardrick, founder and president of Diversity Access Pipeline, Inc., the company behind this podcast and other great programs like Journey to Esquire Scholarship and Leadership Program, which provides $2,000 cash scholarships to third-year law students and internships to second-year law students, along with leadership training and mentors. And Journey to Esquire, the blog, which provides insightful articles to help navigate you through law school and beyond. Find out more on our website, www.journeytoesquire.com. Good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Justin Bell. I am uh, a 3L at Stetson College of Law, and I am a Journey to Esquire scholar. And so I'll just start off, man, um, saying that, first of all, I had the privilege of um, actually sitting in on a couple of the modules because my then girlfriend and now fiance, uh, Rail Tucker was also um, one of, she was also a, a scholar in, in a pilot program. Actually having the opportunity to sit in, to, to meet uh, the amazing board, to actually experience that from the outside looking in, it gave me motivation to step out and, you know, actually try to, try to seize, that opp- seize that opportunity. I guess I'll start off by saying that out of, out of all of the amazing modules that I've experienced, the one that had the most, the, the, the biggest impact on me uh, was the mindset module. And as you see here uh, with this screen here, and I guess in honor of the pandemic that we're, we're going through now and, um, you know, and, and everything that, that, that comes with it, I think we have to start off by having the right mindset, even, even in a time like this, you know, where the unexpected has taken hold of, of everything. We have to continue to, to be forward thinking and have the right mindset. That was the most um, impactful module for me, or one of the most impactful modules, uh, the, the mindset modules. And in particular, the wellness, the lawyer wellness module that we started the year off with, which talked about the importance of, of mental health, the important importance of balance, remembering that you not only want to keep yourself in the right mindset physically or mentally, but you also want to take care of your body physically and you want to, you know, take care of yourself spiritually. Well, you need that balance so that you, 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 you can be in a position to not only keep yourself pushing, but to reach out and help, help others. And another module uh, that I say f- fall under that mindset uh, category is the, the bar prep module where we discuss the metacognition techniques that impacted me in a, in a, in a great way because you know growing up in high school and undergrad you know i was kind of the one who would just study enough you know to uh learn the material temporarily you know and then i'll take those exams and and and, and do do pretty well on them. and then you know i'll just throw it out of my memory and, and keep pushing but uh this bar prep uh, metacognition uh, module actually it taught me the importance of you know actually learning the material long term and that's something that i don't think i would have placed as much emphasis on it because you know it was something that i had i hadn't experienced prior to journey to esquire so that transitions into my into my next slide which talks about the two percent mindset, and for me, I grew up um, in the Mississippi Delta. You know, I don't have any family um, out here. You know, so I made the decision to, uh, you know, step out of my comfort zone and, and start fresh in a place where, where I've never, you know, I've never been and had no family or whatnot. Because I figured that that's one of the best ways to to develop, um, not only for me as a, as a young man, but you know, I think for all of us, you know, it's comfortable, as you can see, as this slide provides, it's comfortable to, you know, kind of settle in your comfort zone. But, you know, not a lot of the population actually step outside of those bounds. And uh, Journey to Esquire gave me the confidence to step out of those bounds to uh, through the mentor mentorship modules, um, through the, the, the wellness modules. It, it gave, gave me the confidence to reach out, you know, to take hold of those leadership um, roles and those uh, amazing opportunities. 
So speaking of stepping out of the comfort zone, um, I'm gonna do something that I've really never done before. Won't be any singing or anything, but um, I kind of, I wrote a poem that kind of summed up my, uh, my journey to Esquire experience. So it's entitled uh, The Journey. And it's been said that the only impossible journey is the journey you never begin. But I started my law school journey with some doubt. At times I doubted if I finished, yet alone win. I started the journey confused, questioning my identity. I mean, how could I not have all these questions when the majority did not look or sound like me? But, when my, but then my law school journey merged into the journey to Esquire, which helped me regain my identity. The diversity module restored my confidence, made me proud to be called a minority. I learned the difference between equality and equity. I learned that bias is not always known. I learned the importance of addressing systematic bias and how diversity and inclusion can make work feel like home. But as a first generation law student, I needed more than just my confidence restored. I needed to learn how to maneuver, how to shake the right hands to get, to get my feet in the door. And for that journey to Esquire gave me access by showing the importance of networking and mentorship. This journey showed me that it's not only about being a hard worker, but you also must know the right people and be well equipped. Growing up in the Mississippi Delta, the most famous pipeline was from the, from the school to the prison. Instead of graduating, most class, classmates dropped out or were locked up, and most role models were either rapping or dribbling. But while on this journey to Esquire, I was introduced to a new vision, one that revealed I have to do more than just make it out, but I have to turn around, give back, and help others when I'm winning. I used to think I needed money, power and fame to truly live. But this journey has taught me that we build a life with what we, but we build a life with what we gain, but we change a life with what we give. You see, this journey I've learned, on this journey I've learned that paying it forward is a debt that I owe because it allows me to lay another pipeline for those coming after me, one that will plant, nurture, and help those younger seeds grow. This journey has truly prepared me for the time when I will have to make those big decisions. I've learned that you have to expect the unexpected, even when you enter the year with 2020 vision. So thank you, Journey to Esquire, for equipping me with the tools to keep a steady pace. I'm forever indebted to you for showing me how determination, authenticity, and purpose will help me finish the race. And that's pretty, pretty much all of uh, all of my presentation. You know, I just thank Journey to Esquire for you know, um, just you know, giving me the chance and just uh, giving giving all of us. Uh, I think I can speak for all of, all of the scholars on this, giving giving us all, giving us all something that that we'll cherish for the uh, for the rest of our lives. So thank you to to the board, you know, to the uh, to the to the founders. To the, the the fellow the fellow scholars, uh, just to ev everyone involved for uh, all you you've given, and um, I'll for like I said in my poem, I'm forever indebted to you, and I can't wait uh, to get back to the program. That's all. Thanks for tuning in to another great episode of Journey to Esquire, the podcast. Support, share, subscribe. And for more, visit www.journeytoesquire.com.